so hello friends welcome to electronic circuit hub so today we will understand the transfer characteristic of an operational amplifier we will understand the transfer characteristic of an idle op-amp and we will understand the transfer characteristic of an practical op-amp so let us understand the transfer characteristic of an idle op-amp okay so this is the symbol of an idle op-amp basic symbol of an operational amplifier where two input is connected v2 and v1 this is power supply positive power supply and this is negative power supply and this is v out okay so now we know that the v out equals to aol into v1 minus v2 for an open loop v out equals to aol into v1 minus v2 and if what is aol idle open open loop gain and for idle op-amp open loop gain is infinite okay and if you replace v1 minus v2 by vd vd is the voltage difference between two input terminals right that is called vd so if vd is greater than zero at that point of time your v out equals to infinite how if you multiply something into infinite you will get infinite value always so at that point of time your open will go towards positive saturation and so your v out would be v plus v sat okay and if your vd is less than zero at that point of time your v out output equals to infinite your open will go towards negative saturation and you will have output of minus v sat okay so this is the transfer characteristic of an ideal open so you can see here whenever your vd is greater this is zero volt this is zero volt or zero something whenever your vd is greater than zero you will have output v out equals to plus v set and whenever your input voltage is less than zero your output is minus v set now we will understand the transfer characteristic of a practical op-amp. So, so for practical op-amp, the open loop gain is finite, but it is very high. Okay, it is very high. It is finite, but it is very high. So, if you want to calculate the value of v, Vd by using this formula, so Vd equals to V out divided by AOL. Okay. That means your V out equals to plus V set divided by AOL and for negative side your VD equals to minus V set divided by AOL. Now let's say V set equals to V set equals to plus minus 15 volt. We will consider the case for both plus positive side and negative side and let's say for practical op-amp the open loop gain of an operational amplifier is 10 to the power 5 so now you if you calculate the vd equals to plus minus 15 volt divided by 10 to the power 5 that means 1 plus minus 150 micro volt so whenever your vd lies between plus minus 150 micro volt you will have some finite output and that is linear okay you will have some finite output whenever your vd lies between this point to this point that means minus 150 volt micro volt to plus 150 micro volt okay now let's say if your AOL equals to AOL equals to thousand. So in that case, your VD equals to if you multiply 15 plus minus 15 divided by thousand. In that case, you will get plus minus 15 divided by thousand, and you will get this time VD equals to VD equals to plus minus 15 millivolt okay so now if your input lies between 
minus 15 millivolt to plus 15 millivolt at that point of time this is minus 15 millivolt okay and this is plus 15 millivolt at that point of time you will have some finite output and that is linear now we will understand the transfer characteristic for practical op amp whenever your vid is less than plus v set divided by aol that means whenever your vid lies in this region you will have some finite output and that is linear okay and whenever your input lies between this region that means your vd is greater than plus v set divided by aol at that point of time your v out equals to plus v set okay at that point of time your v out equals to here v out equals to plus v set and this region you will have some finite output okay and that is linear now for negative si side whenever your vd is less than minus v set divided by aol that means lying this region you will have some linear and a finite out vd is greater than minus v set divided by aol aol that means your input is lies between this region and you will have negative saturated output so at that time your output equals to minus v set so thanks for watching this lecture uh, if you have any question feel free to ask me in comment section